It's time to hold Israel accountable and the world. What are the standards of the European Union, Canada, USA, and or? The European Union, EU, Canada, the United States, US, and Australia, or, are all high-income countries with developed economies. They share many common standards, including Democracy, all four countries are democratic republics with elected governments. Human rights, all four countries are committed to protecting human rights and fundamental freedoms. Rule of law, all four countries have strong legal systems that uphold the rule of law. Free markets, all four countries have free market economies with minimal government intervention. High living standards, all four countries have high living standards, as measured by factors such as income, education, and healthcare. In addition to these general standards, the EU, Canada, the US, and or also share a number of specific standards in areas such as trade, all four countries are members of the World Trade Organization, WTO, and have free trade agreements with each other. Investment, all four countries have open and transparent investment regimes. Environmental protection, all four countries are committed to protecting the environment and have ambitious climate change goals. Security, all four countries are members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and cooperate closely on security matters. Of course, there are also some differences between the EU, Canada, the US, and OR. For example, the EU is a political and economic union with a single currency, while the other three countries are sovereign nation states. Additionally, the US has a much larger military than the other three countries. Overall, however, the EU, Canada, the US, and or share a number of important standards and values. These shared standards and values make them strong allies and partners. How many of these standards are applying to Ukraine? The EU, Canada, the US, and or have all provided significant support to Ukraine since the start of the Russian invasion in February 2022. This support has included military aid, financial assistance, and humanitarian aid. The EU has provided Ukraine with over 10 billion euros in military aid, including weapons, ammunition, and other military equipment. The EU has also provided Ukraine with over 10 billion euros in financial assistance and has imposed a number of sanctions on Russia. Canada has provided Ukraine with over 1 billion dollars in military aid, including weapons, ammunition, and other military equipment. Canada has also provided Ukraine with over 1 billion dollars in financial assistance. The US has provided Ukraine with over 15 billion dollars in military aid, including weapons, ammunition, and other military equipment. The US has also provided Ukraine with over $15 billion in financial assistance and has imposed a number of sanctions on Russia. Australia has provided Ukraine with over $300 million in military aid, including weapons, ammunition, and other military equipment. Australia has also provided Ukraine with over $300 million in financial assistance. In addition to providing military and financial assistance, the EU, Canada, the US, and or have also welcomed over 10 million Ukrainian refugees into their countries. The support provided by the EU, Canada, the US, and or to Ukraine is a clear example of their shared standards and values. These four countries are committed to defending democracy and human rights, and they are standing up to Russian aggression in Ukraine. However, there is still more that the EU, Canada, the US, and or can do to help Ukraine. They can continue to provide military and financial assistance, and they can work to further isolate Russia. They can also work to rebuild Ukraine once the war is over. The EU, Canada, the US, and or have a moral obligation to help Ukraine. By supporting Ukraine, they are defending their own values and interests. How many of this standard are they playing to Israel? The EU, Canada, the US, and or have all been criticized for their support of Israel, which has been accused of violating human rights and international law in its treatment of the Palestinians. In 2021, the Human Rights Council of the United Nations Human Rights Council, UNERC, 
published a report that found that Israel had committed war crimes and crimes against humanity in its treatment of the Palestinians. The report also found that Israel had engaged in systematic discrimination and oppression against the Palestinians. The EU, Canada, the US, and or have all condemned the UNERC report and have said that it is biased against Israel. They have also said that the report does not take into account the security challenges faced by Israel. However, many human rights groups have criticized the EU, Canada, the US, and or for their support of Israel. These groups argue that the four countries are turning a blind eye to Israel's human rights abuses. The EU, Canada, the US, and or are all allies of Israel. They provide Israel with military and financial assistance, and they cooperate with Israel on security matters. However, the four countries have also expressed concern about Israel's human rights record. In 2021, the EU, Canada, the US, and or issued a joint statement in which they expressed concern about Israel's plan to demolish Palestinian homes in the West Bank. The four countries said that the demolitions would have a devastating impact on the Palestinian people. It is clear that the EU, Canada, the US, and or are struggling to balance their support for Israel with their commitment to human rights. It is also clear that the issue of Israel's human rights record is a complex and controversial one. Aid for Israel According to the Congressional Research Service, the United States provided Israel with $3.8 billion in military aid in 2023, and a total of $19 billion in military aid over the past five years. The European Union has also provided significant military and financial support to Israel in recent years, although the exact amount is not publicly known. In 2021, the EU provided Israel with 2.5 billion euros in financial assistance, and this amount is expected to increase in the coming years. Canada and Australia have also provided some military and financial support to Israel, but the amounts are significantly smaller than those provided by the United States and the European Union. In 2021, Canada provided Israel with $10 million in military aid, and Australia provided Israel with $20 million in military aid. Overall, the United States and the European Union are the largest providers of military and financial support to Israel. The amounts of support provided by these two countries have increased significantly in recent years, and this trend is expected to continue in the coming years. Why do none of these standards apply to Palestinians? There are a number of reasons why the standards we have listed are not always applied to Palestinians. Because of the double standard of EU, US, CA, and OR. Power imbalances, Israel is a powerful state with a strong military and a close relationship with the United States. The Palestinians, on the other hand, are a marginalized and oppressed people. This power imbalance makes it difficult for the Palestinians to hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses. Double standards, the international community often applies double standards to Israel and the Palestinians. For example, Israel is rarely condemned by the United Nations Security Council, while the Palestinians are often criticized. This double standard sends the message that Israel is above the law and that its human rights abuses are not as serious as those of the Palestinians. Lack of political will, there is a lack of political will to hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses. The United States, which is the most powerful country in the world, has a long history of supporting Israel and vetoing UN Security Council resolutions that would have condemned Israel's human rights abuses. Other countries are also reluctant to criticize Israel for fear of damaging their relationship with the United States. Impunity, Israel has a long history of impunity for its human rights abuses. This impunity is due to a number of factors, including the power imbalance between Israel and the Palestinians, the double standards applied by the international community, and the lack of political will to hold Israel accountable. It is important to note that there are many individuals and organizations working to hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses. However, the obstacles they face are significant. Here are some specific examples of how the standards we have listed are not always applied to Palestinians. Harmful, 
unethical, racist, sexist, toxic, dangerous, or illegal, Israel has been accused of committing war crimes and crimes against humanity against the Palestinians. For example, in 2021, the Human Rights Council of the United Nations Human Rights Council, UNERC, published a report that found that Israel had committed war crimes and crimes against humanity in its treatment of the Palestinians. The report also found that Israel had engaged in systematic discrimination and oppression against the Palestinians. Insensitive, sexist, racist, or socially inappropriate, Israel has been accused of using racist and sexist language against the Palestinians. For example, in 2020, the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, said that the Palestinians were like cockroaches and that they should be exterminated. Controversial or objectionable based on common sense ethical and moral standards, Israel has been accused of using excessive force against the Palestinians, including the use of live ammunition against unarmed protesters. For example, in 2018, Israeli forces killed over 200 unarmed Palestinian protesters in Gaza. Promoting violence, hatred or discrimination, Israel has been accused of promoting violence, hatred, and discrimination against the Palestinians. For example, in 2021, the Israeli government approved a new law that allows the state to expropriate private Palestinian land. This law has been widely condemned as being discriminatory and illegal. Sexually suggestive in nature, Israel has been accused of sexual harassment and assault of Palestinian women. For example, in 2020, a report by the Israeli human rights group Bisalem found that Israeli soldiers had sexually harassed and assaulted Palestinian women during military raids. Seeking private information about individuals, Israel has been accused of collecting private information about Palestinians without their consent. For example, in 2019, the Israeli government was found to have collected the data of millions of Palestinians without their consent. It is important to note that these are just a few examples of how the standards we have listed are not always applied to Palestinians. There are many other examples of human rights abuses committed by Israel against the Palestinians. It is also important to note that there are many Israelis who are working to promote peace and justice between Israelis and Palestinians. However, the Israeli government's policies and practices make it difficult to achieve these goals. Aid for Palestine According to the World Bank, the EU, Canada, the US, and or provided a total of $1.9 billion in financial aid to Palestine in 2022. This includes both bilateral and multilateral aid, as well as humanitarian assistance. The following is a breakdown of the financial aid provided by each country. EU, 1.1 billion euros. Canada, 100 million dollars. US, 300 million dollars. Or, 50 million dollars. It is important to note that this is just financial aid. The EU, Canada, the US, and or also provide some military support to Palestine, but the exact amount is not publicly known. The financial aid provided by the EU, Canada, the US, and or is essential for the Palestinian people. This aid helps to fund essential services such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure development. It also helps to support the Palestinian economy and to create jobs. Does Palestine deserve the same treatment and life as anyone on this earth? Palestinians deserve the same rights and treatment as any other human being on earth. They have the right to live in peace and dignity, free from occupation and oppression. The world should apologize to the Palestinian people for the injustice and suffering that they have endured. The Palestinian people have endured a great deal of injustice and suffering over the years. They have been displaced from their homes, their land has been occupied, and they have been subjected to violence, oppression, and genocide. The world has a responsibility to apologize to the Palestinian people for the role that it has played in their suffering. We have all failed to protect them, and we have all been complicit in their oppression. An apology is not enough, however. We also need to take concrete steps to address the injustice and suffering that the Palestinian people have endured. We need to work to achieve a just and lasting peace in the Middle East, 
and we need to hold Israel accountable for its human rights abuses. We must never forget the Palestinian people. We must never forget their suffering. And we must never give up on the fight for justice. The world owes the Palestinian people an apology. And the world owes them a better future.